for the time that's mine, the preaching today, I want to preach a little bit from the Lord. Pass the salt, please. Yeah. You better go in. Pass that salt. Pass the salt, please. Uh, pass the salt. experience in the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has just finished going throughout Galilee yeah. preaching in the synagogues yeah. Yeah. and healing all manners of sickness and all manner of diseases among the people. And of course the text says that well. his fame went out. Yeah. And of course when Jesus' fame goes out, the text lets us to know that in chapter 5 he comes to a lofty mountain because there's a great crowd that comes and want to see Jesus. They have heard about Jesus and by virtue of what they have heard about Jesus, they come and ascend and they gather around in order to hear Jesus for themselves. I just want to pause right through here and say this, brothers and sisters, I don't mind hearing through the grapevine, but every once in a while, I got to see for myself. Can I get a witness in here? And in fact, can I get some witnesses in here that can testify that you are a product of that scripture that says, oh, taste and see. Talk back to me again, that the Lord is good. Come on, I, I got to see for myself. I heard through everybody else that he's a way maker, that he is a burden bearer, that he's a heavy load sharer, but it's when you really go through all by yourself. Can I get a witness in here? I need some witnesses that can testify. I've been through enough in my life, and I've seen God work. Listen, listen, I, 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 I've heard, I've seen God, not because of what my grandmama said, and I thank God for grandmama, because grandmama gave me foundation, darling. I thank God for my mama, because my mama made me go to church, even on those days when I wanted to stay home in the bed, but but when I got older, just a little older, y'all, I, I began to testify, I can testify that if it had not been, oh, I wish I could put you the Lord on my side, oh, not, not, not on my grandmama's side, but on my side, well, you know, anybody here that can testify, I have been through enough in my, that's why the Bible declares, let the redeemed say so every once in a while when you see God for yourself you ought to be able to testify that can't nobody can I get a witness in here can't nobody do me like the Lord you ought to be able to testify he picked me up out of the eternity I wish I had a church in here place my feet on the solid ground I am here today because I've seen Jesus for myself According to the text, Reverend Blair, the text says that Jesus takes the posture of sitting. He sits and the Bible says that the disciples gather to listen to Jesus. And one of the beautiful things of this text is Jesus does not, he does not perform a miracle in this text. But Jesus opens his mouth. And, and, and I want to tell you something, brothers and good brothers and sisters, that miracles are great and, and shouting and church is great, but there is nothing like hearing a word from God. Can I get a witness in here? I said, can I get a witness in here? I, I need somebody that can testify you go through enough all week long. I need some folks that have been struggling this week. I need some folks that have had some hell in your life this week. I need some folks that have had some difficulties in your life, but it is God. But, but, but I've come to church. Yeah, I came to get my dance on. Yeah, I came to get the shout on, but, but I most of all, because I need a word from God. I need God to speak to my dilemma. I need God to speak to my situation. I need God. And, and, and you come here, brothers and sisters, because you ask the question, preacher, is there a word from the Lord? And I'm, I'm glad to tell you there is a word from the Lord. That if you hold on just a lot, you to hit somebody in here and encourage somebody. If you hold on just a little while longer, God will show up and show up. And he begins to open his mouth and, and for 12 long chapters 
chapter, tell long verses, Jesus begins to give blessed statements. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall in uh, they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the meek, for they will be called the children of God. And essentially, what Jesus is doing is Jesus is teaching them what it means to be a follower of Jesus. You see, brothers and sisters, it's one thing to become a, to come down the aisle and, and join the church, but at the end of the day, you some substance because at the end of the day if you don't get no teaching you're not going to stay in the church and when you sit here and brothers and sisters that's the reason why I'm here because watch this you need some teaching also because the devil will get you from Monday through Saturday and you need some word that on the inside can I get a witness in here then he come down because Jesus understands that all men need concrete examples. And in verse 13, in verse 13, 14, he begins to give you our statements. And we'll deal with the salt today, but I'll deal next week with the, the light. But he says, you are the salt, watch this, of the earth. You are. There is, he gives us our relationship to the world. He says that you are the salt that gives season to an otherwise bland culture. In other words, in a world, brothers and sisters, that is increasingly chaotic, there ought to be something about the Christian. I get a witness in here. You are the salt. In other words, watch this. You are the ones that set the tone in society. You are the ones that influence. You see, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the world ought not dictate how we do things, but we ought to determine, we ought to set the tone on your job. The job should determine how you live. Can I get a witness in here? Your, your circle ought not determine how you live, but because of your very presence, there ought to be some saltiness about you. the salt of the earth. That, 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 that you are the salt. You, are, you have a relationship. You are not. You are not in the world. And God has put you in the world so that you can set a different and there can be something about you so you can season the world. But he says if the salt loses its saltiness, if it loses its savor. Now what does that mean? I need to wrestle with that because does that that one can lose their salvation, I absolutely wholeheartedly contend you cannot lose your salvation. Okay, let me see if I can make that make sense because I want to make somebody shout today. I don't care what mistakes you make in your life, you cannot lose what you did to earn because salvation is a gift from God. Can I get a witness? For so by grace you are saved through faith and that not of yourself a gift of God, not a words that anyone should boast. So let me tell you, no matter how ratchet you are, your ratchetness can't keep you from God. Can I get a witness in here? I need somebody that can testify that yes, yes, I'm saved. Yes, I'm sanctified, but I still got some ratchet in me. Can I, can I get somebody in here? Yes, I'm saved. I come to church, I know how to throw up my hands. But at the time, if need be, I know how to throw hands. Say, I'm 
And so, well, all right, so preacher, what does that mean that you could lose your savior? You could lose. So when 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 salt, salt is a, a stable compound, brothers and sisters, it's an authentic compound. But when other substances get mixed in, it loses its saltiness. And what Jesus is trying to teach us is that you lose your authenticity when you allow things around you to influence you. He's not saying you can lose your salvation, but he's saying you can lose your usefulness because you allow people and things to influence you. So what the Bible says here, the Lord, no, come on, just uh, lift your hands and tell God thank you. It says here, when the salt, when the salt loses its savior, how shall it be salted? He says uh, it's good for nothing. And so, brothers and sisters, I need to ask a question today as I prepare to get on up the road here. Is it really possible that the church can lose its influence? Is it really possible that you and I, as Christians, can really lose our influence? Our influence. You know, brothers and sisters, in a day and age when there is churches all, all over the place, you go on Facebook, and then today, you know, on Sunday mornings, you can see churches on Facebook going live, and, and, and everybody's on Instagram. How can the church really lose its impact when you got churches on every corner? How can the church lose its impact when Christians carry big old Bibles in their hand? How? church lose its impact? How can we lose our impact when we, when we got a church building? How can we lose our impact when we got an attractive website? How can we lose our impact when we got a good choir? How can we lose our impact when you got a good pastor? How can we lose our impact when we come to church every Sunday, pay our tithes, serve on boards and auxiliaries, preach all your Now, even the church has eaten Tasha 
Michael, who was who had who was a same gender loving brother, had uh, he had was attacked by some other persons, and and you know what I would hear in the church? What I would hear in church is this: Oh, how sad and what a shame! No human being would go through that. But out of their same breath, they would say, Oh, well, wait a minute. If you're gay, you're going to hell. That's what we would say. And what we would do is we would clothe our homophobia in religious jargon. But brothers and sisters, I don't care what your position on sexuality is, the reality is we need to come, uh, come around people and love people. Can I get a witness in here? And that's what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying that, listen, you are the salt of the earth, not because you talk about people or not, because you're better than anybody, but because, watch this, you ought to demonstrate So does not mean that you have the right to go around looking down your little stubby nose at anybody. Am I preaching all right in here? I said, am I preaching all right in here? I said, you have no right to look down your nose at anybody. And what we've discovered in church is what we've discovered instead of the, the reason why the world looks at the church as just another Through my flaws and my own. Yeah. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. Anybody? 
Thank you.